Tonight, we continue our features detailing the international origins of San Antonio FC's roster. Last week, we gave you an extended look at Jonathan Viscosi and his long and winding journey through soccer. This week, we head overseas to Africa to bring you the story of a man who narrowly escaped a war-torn country and built a life playing the game he loves. came here as a refugee from uh, civil war because of the Blood Diamonds uh, in the early 90s. I, I left uh, when I was uh, six years old because uh, there was an emergency visa. I ended up uh, traveling by myself uh, from West Africa here to the States. It was a long journey. I had no clue what uh, I was getting myself into or what my parents. Uh, but you know, desperate times call for desperate measures and uh, the emergency visa saved my life. When I got here, uh, my mom was looking to put me into something that would keep me out of trouble. My love for soccer and her love for soccer was a no-brainer. Soccer made a difference throughout my life and uh, opened doors that nothing else could. Uh, got me a really good education at Wake Forest University and uh, allows me to continue my dream of being a professional footballer. One of my classmates, I'll never forget her, her name is Shannon Brown. Uh, she used to take me after school and just teach me more colloquial <laughs> English. Um, it's very different than the English you learn in the classroom, um, and uh, I owe a lot to her um, for taking that time to invest in me. I was very fortunate to be a first-round draft pick in 2009. Uh, very fortunate to, you know, a lot of guys have to wait their turn, but made my debut in the first game of the season. Got to play a lot, you know, from day one, and I got to learn from some of the best in uh, MLS history. And coming here in San Antonio, trying to pass that on to to the younger generation. Allergies were a bit of an adjustment <laughs> for starters, but it's been it's been seamless. It's really brought out a more competitive spirit in me uh, more than ever. Um, you know, I, I believe in young players and I love competing against them as the older guy. I'm here for one reason, it's to win. Um, not just to make the playoffs, but I want to make history here because uh, I've been fortunate to make history everywhere I've gone. So I want to continue that here. Mm -hmm. 